almost done here. What do you say you have a look at this? Tell me what you see. This one, I really don't understand how this attributes to my skill points that they recommend. Um, to put tags in, tags basically mean these are your three uh, most important tags that you feel like and you get increased bonuses because of them. But let's see, what this, I don't even know what the hell that is, so I'm just gonna say it's a chemical reaction. Okay. How about this one? Well, honestly, I don't. I've actually never had this happen to me, a psychological test, but, um, let's see. I'm too embarrassed. Ah, oh, that's funny. I'm too embarrassed to say what it looks like. If you guys don't know what this is supposed to be implying, you're either too young to be watching this video or ignorant. But, let's just say a pr priceless piece of work. Art. A light in the dark says this bearded man. A mushroom cloud. Actually, yeah, it does look like a mushroom cloud. Well, that's all she wrote. I don't have nothing to compare it to, so maybe you'd better just have a look at the results. See if it all seems right to you. Alright, so these are the skills that they tag. They say medicine, melee weapons, and science are the ones I should be going for, which I strongly disagree, except for the science part. I'm going to take off medicine and melee weapons and actually add them to... Repair and speech. Now, repair, science, and speech are going to be really big, but speech and barter are probably your biggest in the wasteland outside of combat. Um, in, inside of combat, of course, I'd say energy weapons and guns rather than explosives and melee weapons and unarmed. Uh, but survival, survival is a guarantee must have if you are planning to play the hardcore mode, which I do not because I have found that it's extremely difficult and I'll probably save that for another time so um, for my first for first time users uh, I'm doing repair and science because I can do a lot more extra things early on in the game however if you're gonna be playing this for the first time I recommend speech guns and either lockpick or barter uh, actually I prefer barter because you can sell things and buy but also repair allows you to um, repair your weapons a lot easier and uh, in a lot better sense so and plus you can get the jury rigging skill at level at 70 points so that's always nice so I'll be say done with these before I turn you loose I need one more thing from you I got a form for you to fill out so I can get a sense of your medical history just a formality. Ain't like I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. Alright, so these are traits. And traits um, come with plus and minuses. Um, except for, I believe, one of them. And that's the one I'm going to be picking. So, I'm going to go through all of them, tell you what they are. Because in the ultimate version, there are ones that are n not in the regular. So, a lot of these are actually not in the normal uh, Fallout New Vegas. So, I don't know which ones they are. I don't remember. But a lot of these are um, unique, in a sense. But, let's go through all of them. Built to destroy. The flamer that burns twice as bright burns half as long. All weapons have plus 3% chance of critical hit. However, the equipment condition decays 15% faster. Claustrophobia. You have a fear of enclosed spaces, pro um, pro probably because of the mutants that live there. You gain 1 plus of special attributes when outside, but suffer negative 1 when indoors. Early Bird. Hey, early risers. Enjoy a plus 2 to each of your special attributes from 6 a.m. to 12 p.m., but suffer a negative 1 to all of them from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. when you're not at your best. Fast shot, while using guns and energy weapons, you fire 20% more at quickly, but your shots are 20% less accurate. Four eyes, while wearing any type of glasses, you have a plus one perception. Without glasses, you have negative one perception. Good natured, you're good natured at heart, with prone, more prone to solving problems with your mind than violence. You gain plus five to barter, medicine, repair, science, and speech, but negative five to energy weapons, explosives, guns. Melee weapons and unarmed. I do apologize if I'm a little bit slurring my words or had to wait. I have no glasses and these are, it's actually a little blurry on me, but heavy handed. Your melee and, un and unarmed attacks do more damage, but less critical hit damage, which is actually not that bad if you want to go that route. Hoarder, you gain 25 pounds to your carrying capacity, but suffer a negative one to all attributes anytime your weight you're carrying drops below 160 pounds. So, 
in a long sense, it could be good or bad, but not what I'm going to go for. Hot-Blooded. When your health drops below 50%, you gain plus 10 more damage, but also suffer negative 2 to your agility and perception attributes. Kamikaze. You gain plus 10 action points, but your reckless nature causes you to have a negative 2 damage threshold. Logan's Loophole. The one you're, um, no one's going to put you out to pasture because you're going to stay young and level 30 forever. You'll never again become addicted to chems, but they'll last twice, twice as long. But after level 30, you can cast experience perks and skill points goodbye. Loose Cannon, from frag grenades to throwing spears, you can throw a weapon 30% faster at the cost of 25% range. Skilled, you're skilled, but not experienced. You gain 5 plus to every skill, but you suffer 10% from experience gain from now on. Now this is actually one of the traits I'm going to be picking because of the fact that experience really does not matter. Um, you gain them in a really good fast rate no matter what. Um, so most big, uh, most medium sized enemies that you counter usually give 50 experience points, but with this skilled perk it gives you 5 to every skill, which is really good, however you lose 10%, so you usually gain about 45. Small frame. Due to your small size, you have plus 1 agility, but your limbs are more easily crippled. Trigger discipline. While using guns and energy weapons, you fire 20% more slowly, but are 20% more accurate. In the Wild Wasteland, this is the other one I'm going to be picking because of its unique attributes. Wild Wasteland unleashes the most bizarre and silly elements of post-apocalyptic uh, post America, not for the faint of heart or the serious of temperament. Now, the only reason, the main reason why I'm getting this is because of the one gun you can get, the alien blaster that I'll have to pick up even though it's on the opposite side of the map when I first started. So, I'm going to be picking the Wild Wasteland and Skilled as my two traits. All right, I guess that about does it. Come with me, I'll see you out. So let's walk out. There's a shot of my boxers. I'm guessing they're boxers, yeah. And funny thing is, because in the previous uh, Fallout, pre-war books are really rare and really valuable. However, not so much here. Here, these are yours was all you had on you when you was brought in. I hope you don't mind, but I gave the note a look. I thought it might help me find a next of kin, but it was just something about a platinum chip. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. They call it a Pip-Boy. I grew up in one of them vaults they made before the war. We all got one. Ain't much use to me now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. I know what it's like having something taken from you. And put this on too, so the locals don't pick on you for lack and modesty. Never was much my style anyway. Alright, so I'm just gonna say thanks for patching me up, Doc. Uh, don't mention it. It's what I'm here for. You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. She'll likely be at the saloon. I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out, too. And the metal fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up. But try not to get killed anymore. No, I'm not going to play hardcore, hardcore mode. Alright, so before I open the door and be blinded, uh, I'm going to be showing you what is actually in my blah blah blah, all these weapons. Hold on, let me just get all this extra things out of the way. Alright, so the pair that they gave me was the Armored Volt 13 Jumpsuit, the Lightweight Leather Armor, the Lightweight Metal metal Armor, and the Tribal Rating Armor. I get the 21 Jumpsuit no matter what. And the weapons they give me is the 9mm pistol? Yeah, the Monoculars, the Bra Machete, the two knights I picked up, the laser, no, the mercenary's grenade white rifle, the Surrey caravan shotgun, throwing spear, weather 10 millimeter pistol, and for the aid, they gave me a bunch of stint packs, all that stuff, weapon repair kits, which is really good, and the vault 13 canteen. Now, this thing does weigh one pound in your inventory, no matter what. However, every once in a while, it randomly restores health, so I do recommend you keep that in your inventory. Now, before I actually go, since I increase my repair skills, I can actually activate uh repair the nine millimeter submachine gun 
And actually, let's build some stim packs now that I have my science. So I think I got five stim packs. Yep, five stim packs really easily. And yeah, so I'm actually gonna equip a couple things really quickly and then head on out. I'm gonna equip the light leather, lightweight leather armor as well as the caravan shotgun. Oh wait, and also there's a fedora right here, and just to make yourself look classy. Oh, there's some, also some bottle caps over here, so some easy, quick change, and some glasses over here, I believe. Oh, there it is. Uh, today's physician, and ring glasses, and pre-war hat and ring glasses, and now you are ready, I am ready. Oh, let me change the angle. Fuck it. Oh. Now, let's just say I am ready to take the wasteland by the hair. Alright? So, I do realize that this is actually a very long introduction, be simply because of the intro video and all the questions I had to ask. So, this is going to be split into two parts, uh, if you guys don't already know. So, it'll say, let's play Fallout New Vegas, part one, one of one, one of two, and two of two, and all that stuff. So, yeah. Let's open the door and join Good Springs. That's the name of the town, Good Springs. So, let's open the door.